on February 23rd, 2020, a young black man named Ahmad Arbery was savagely killed in the streets of Brunswick, Georgia. The assailants claimed that they were committing a citizen's arrest, but Ahmad Arbery had committed no crime. He was not armed and he was just out taking a run. Yet they killed him like an animal. A uh, testimony from witnesses said that the assailant said they had him cornered like a rat. And they killed this young man. Now the defense attorney for these individuals has had the audacity to make a request of the judge in the presence of Arbery's family that all black pastors be removed from the gallery. There's no reason for black pastors to be there. They specifically targeted Jesse Jackson and Al Sharpton and made the disrespectful comment that sitting at a, at a trial is not like getting courtside seats to the Lakers. We will not have it. We will not stand for it. Our civil rights leaders has called all black pastors to Brunswick, Georgia on November 18th, 2021 to stand up for the Arbery family and to stand against this injustice. The good old boys in Brunswick, Georgia need to know that black pastors still stand up for what's right and the stacked judicial system needs to know that they cannot talk to us any type of way. And we are here to support this family in their time of grief and in their search for justice. I am calling all black pastors to show up and stand in solidarity with this family. If you are in the Atlanta area, I have three more seats in my car. You can ride with me, but you better believe we are on the way and we are coming. I am an ordained Seventh-day Adventist minister. I'm a departmental director in the Seventh-day Adventist church. But every day, I am also a black man. And we have to stand up for our people. And we have to stand up for this bereaved family. So I will be there. And at 11 o'clock on the 18th, we'll have a prayer vigil right at the courthouse because we still believe in the power of God. I'm encouraging all of you to show up and even in the midst of this injustice, never ever forget that if God be for us, who can be against us?